welcome back to the Taylor YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be recapping back to March 2022 when we got our car on the dyno um, uh, with the turbo setup. Um, so any of you who have been following along on Facebook and Instagram may have already seen these updates, but I thought it's been a year since I've done that and I thought it's time I put some content on the page. So I'm going to be recapping some of the um, issues we came across um, throughout the year and uh, things that we accomplished. Unfortunately, we had a bit of an issue with the wastegate um, in that it was trying to make all of the boost immediately. Um, and uh, luckily, Jamie, who was mapping it at EST performance, managed to keep it under control. And the moment he noticed that the boost spike up that high, he let off um, and we let the car cool down for a little minute. Um, and then we, we made the decision to just run it on wastegate pressure alone. Um, so we knew that we weren't going to be going for high performance numbers. <laughs> Run that you see here was um, about the fourth or fifth run that we've done in a row where it was consistently making 278 brake horsepower. Uh, we tried adding timing and it had not really made much difference so we knew that the wastegate when that was correct um, and functioning properly that was going to be the only way that we could make more power. Uh, we were quite happy with the result bearing in mind this is a 100 brake horsepower gain on what the factory figures are for a V5 engine. <laughs> Right, the last video you see there is just a bit of fun. We uh, get the dyno to simulate a rolling road um, and then just smash through the gears just to check that everything works because we would hate to go all the way to our centre pod to race and find out that we don't have second gear or we don't have third gear or fourth gear or whatever other gears are needed and that we can't smash them in in, in a race-like scenario. Um, so Jamie always likes to do that on the lower powered cars just to basically simulate it because it's a much handier for us if we break it at the dyno rather than breaking it at the racetrack. Sometimes things at the racetrack can be fixed but not always. Um, but that is everything for today. Um, I'm going to try and post more videos as I said just recapping some of the things that have happened within the year. But thank you for watching. If you haven't already please don't forget to like and subscribe um, and share it with your friends. 